Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn this awesome BB King lick. Really great lick that by BB King. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to play it. So in this video then we're going to learn a really really cool BB King lick. If you haven't done it already, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. Click that alert bell so you don't miss any updates. Right then, let's just get stuck straight into this lick. The lick by one of the most iconic and influential blues guitarists of all time, B.B. King. Now, B.B. King's known for his sweet sounding blues licks, and this is a great example of it. This is a kind of a mixture of using a major and a minor pentatonic scale, which gives us a really sophisticated, great blues sound. Now, if you don't really know what I'm talking about, the difference between major and minor pentatonics. I'd recommend you having a look at that. Over at Fretlex, we have a course all on about that stuff. You'll see links in the description below. But just for the purpose of this lick, you can still learn it without knowing all that sort of stuff. So the lick is based in E. Okay, and we'll work great over the E7 or the A7 in the blues. So the lick starts off with a bend up on the seventh on the E string. We bring the bend down and play the seventh fret. So we'd get one, two, three, four, one, two, so when we bring that bend down and we land that seventh fret note on the high E, that is on the second beat. Three, four, one, two, then we play six, pull off the five on the high E. And then we play eight to five on the B as a pull off. Okay, so let me just count into that. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then we play the sixth fret on the G string, seventh fret on the B string, and that's where the fourth beat's gonna land. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then we play six on the G again, five on the B again. So let me play all of that slowly. And a bit faster. And then to finish the lick off, we play a bend up on the seventh fret on the B. Now that's gonna sound amazing if you land that over the top of the E. So this lick sounds particularly good if you play it over the four chord, which is the A7, in a blues in E, and when you do that bend up on the seventh fret, if that is where you resolve it back to the one chord, which is the E7. Okay, so if we had a blues in E, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. When it goes to the A7, play the lick, and then as it moves back to the E, you're hitting that bend up, it's gonna sound really, really great. So like this. One, two, three, four, move to the A chord, and then back to the E. You're bending up and you're hitting a really nice chord tone when you do that bend up on the seventh fret on the B string over the top of an E7. So what I'll do at the end of this video is I'm gonna play that with a few different backing tracks and I'll demonstrate it so you can see that in a bit more detail and hear how it sounds. But for now, let's just get the metronome on. We'll slow it down and gradually speed it up. Here is the lick at 60 BPM. And again. Let's speed that up a bit. Here it is at 80 BPM. And one more time. Let's speed that up a bit more. Here it is at 100 BPM. And again. It's a great sounding lick for a blues in E. Now that could be used if we had a shuffle blues. Or it could be used if we had a straight blues. 
you can still play the same lick. They'll just sound ever so slightly different. So let me put on the backing track and I'll demonstrate that. I'll do the shuffle first so you can hear how it sounds and then I'll do it over a straight blues and you can see how the same lick will sound great in both situations. <laughs> So that's it with the backing track then. So you can see how it works great over a shuffle and a straight blues. And you can see where I was placing the lick there over that four chord, the A7, and then resolving back to the one. It sounds really, really great. So if you haven't done it already, then like and subscribe to the channel. Click that alert bell so you don't miss any updates. If you want to get in touch with me and learn some more stuff, I have an online guitar school called fretlicks.com. All the relevant links are in the description below. If you want the tab of notation, the link is in the description as well. I hope you enjoyed that video and I look forward to catching you again soon.